Welcome to the fascinating world of hermaphroditic animals, where creatures possess the remarkable ability to embody both male and female characteristics. In this video, we'll explore the incredible diversity of hermaphroditic species, uncovering how and why these animals embrace dual gender identities. From the depths of the oceans to the gardens in our backyards, hermaphroditism presents a unique survival strategy that challenges our understanding of gender in the natural world. Ever wondered how a single animal can perform the roles of both mother and father? Stay with us as we dive deep into the secrets of hermaphroditism, revealing the captivating adaptations and behaviors of these extraordinary creatures. Get ready to embark on an exciting journey through nature's most intriguing phenomena. Let's dive in. Hermaphroditism is a fascinating biological phenomenon where an organism possesses both male and female reproductive organs. This dual gender trait allows hermaphroditic animals to produce both eggs and sperm, enabling them to function as either sex during reproduction. This unique ability can offer significant reproductive advantages, particularly in environments where finding a mate is challenging. There are two main types of hermaphroditism, simultaneous and sequential. Simultaneous hermaphrodites, such as earthworms and many snails, have both male and female reproductive organs at the same time. This allows them to mate with any other member of their species, providing maximum flexibility and increasing their chances of successful reproduction. Sequential hermaphrodites, on the other hand, start life as one sex and switch to the other at some point in their life cycle. For instance, clownfish are born male and can become female if the dominant female in the group dies. This ability to change sex ensures that the social structure of their group remains intact and reproductive opportunities are optimized. Hermaphroditism occurs in nature as a strategy to maximize reproductive success in varying environmental conditions. In some habitats, mates are scarce, and being able to self-fertilize or mate with any available partner ensures that reproduction can still occur. For species living in stable environments with complex social structures, sequential hermaphroditism can maintain the balance and dynamics needed for their communities to thrive. By adapting to their specific ecological niches, hermaphroditic species enhance their chances of survival and continuity, showcasing the incredible versatility of life on Earth. Hermaphroditism is a remarkable adaptation found in a variety of species, each showcasing unique traits that enhance their reproductive success. One of the most well-known hermaphroditic species is the earthworm. Earthworms possess both male and female reproductive organs, allowing them to mate with any other earthworm they encounter. During mating, they exchange sperm, which they later use to fertilize their own eggs, ensuring that each mating encounter results in mutual fertilization. Garden snails are another fascinating example of simultaneous hermaphrodites. These snails have both male and female reproductive organs and engage in elaborate courtship rituals before exchanging sperm. This ability to mate with any other adult snail increases their chances of reproduction, especially in environments where potential mates are sparse. Garden snails also lay eggs, which they carefully bury in the soil to protect the next generation. Clownfish, on the other hand, are sequential hermaphrodites. They are born male and have the ability to change into females if the dominant female in their group dies. This ensures that the social structure remains stable, with a breeding pair always present to produce offspring. The largest male transforms into the new female, and another male steps up to become the breeding partner, illustrating the dynamic adaptability of clownfish. Banana slugs are intriguing simultaneous hermaphrodites with a twist. While they possess both male and female reproductive organs, they often engage in mating with other slugs to exchange sperm. However, they are also capable of self-fertilization if a mate is not available. This flexibility ensures that they can reproduce in varying environmental conditions, from damp forests to garden beds. Hamlets, a type of fish found in coral reefs, are also simultaneous hermaphrodites. They take turns acting as male and female during spawning, which helps ensure the fertilization of eggs. This reciprocal mating system reduces competition and increases the genetic diversity of their offspring, contributing to the resilience of their populations in the vibrant, competitive reef environment. Blue-headed wrasses are another interesting example of sequential hermaphrodites. These fish start their lives as females and can later transform into males, usually in response to the social dynamics of their group. 
If the dominant male is removed or dies, the largest female will change sex and take over the role, maintaining the breeding structure of their society. This ability allows blue-headed races to adapt quickly to changes in their social hierarchy, ensuring continued reproduction. These species illustrate the diverse and adaptive nature of hermaphroditism in the animal kingdom, each employing unique strategies to maximize their reproductive success and ensure the survival of their species. Hermaphroditism manifests differently in marine and terrestrial environments, reflecting the unique challenges and advantages present in each habitat. In aquatic ecosystems, hermaphroditic species such as clownfish and blue-headed wrasses exhibit complex social structures within coral reefs. These environments are dynamic and competitive, with limited resources and intense predation pressures. As a result, hermaphroditic fish often display sequential hermaphroditism, where individuals change sex in response to social cues and environmental factors. This adaptability ensures the stability of breeding pairs and maintains the genetic diversity essential for survival in the ever-changing reef ecosystem. On the other hand, terrestrial hermaphroditic species like earthworms and garden snails face distinct challenges and opportunities. In terrestrial environments, mate availability can vary widely due to factors such as habitat fragmentation and seasonal fluctuations. Simultaneous hermaphroditism, where individuals possess both male and female reproductive organs, offers significant advantages in such situations. Earthworms, for example, can mate with any other member of their species they encounter, maximizing reproductive opportunities and ensuring the continuity of their population in diverse soil conditions. The differences between marine and terrestrial hermaphroditic species also extend to their reproductive behaviors and strategies. Aquatic hermaphrodites often engage in complex courtship rituals and social hierarchies to optimize breeding opportunities within their communities. In contrast, terrestrial hermaphrodites may rely more on environmental cues and physical encounters to initiate mating, as seen in the mating dances of garden snails or the burrowing behaviors of earthworms. These behaviors reflect the unique ecological dynamics of each environment and the evolutionary adaptations that have arisen to meet the challenges of reproduction. Despite these differences, both marine and terrestrial hermaphroditic species share a common goal, maximizing reproductive success in their respective habitats. Whether navigating the vast expanses of the ocean or the intricacies of terrestrial ecosystems, hermaphroditism offers a versatile reproductive strategy that enables these organisms to thrive amidst the diverse array of challenges presented by their environments. Understanding the genetic and hormonal mechanisms underlying hermaphroditism provides insight into the complex interplay of factors that govern reproductive development in these organisms. At the genetic level, intricate regulatory networks control the expression of genes involved in sex determination and differentiation. In hermaphroditic species, these genetic pathways may exhibit unique patterns of activation and suppression, allowing individuals to develop both male and female reproductive organs simultaneously or sequentially. Genes play a crucial role in influencing hermaphroditism by orchestrating the development of gonads and secondary sexual characteristics. For example, in sequential hermaphrodites like clownfish, certain genes regulate the transformation from male to female or vice versa in response to social cues or environmental stimuli. Similarly, simultaneous hermaphrodites like garden snails express genes involved in the formation and maintenance of both male and female reproductive structures, allowing them to produce eggs and sperm concurrently. Hormones act as molecular messengers that modulate the expression and activity of genes involved in hermaphroditism. Hormonal signals regulate various aspects of reproductive development, including the differentiation of gonads, the production of gametes, and the expression of secondary sexual characteristics. For instance, in some hermaphroditic fish species, fluctuations in hormone levels trigger sex change behaviors, such as courtship displays or aggressive interactions, which ultimately lead to the transition from one sex to another. Environmental factors also play a significant role in shaping the expression of hermaphroditism. External cues such as temperature, photoperiod, and social interactions can influence the activation of genetic pathways and the secretion of hormones involved in sex determination and differentiation. In certain species, environmental conditions may trigger sex change events or alter the timing of reproductive transitions. For example, in some reptiles, the temperature at which eggs are incubated can determine the sex of the offspring, leading to skewed sex ratios in response to climate fluctuations. 
Overall, the genetic and hormonal mechanisms underlying hermaphroditism are complex and multifaceted, involving intricate interactions between genes, hormones, and environmental cues. By unraveling these biological processes, scientists gain valuable insights into the adaptive strategies employed by hermaphroditic organisms to cope with diverse ecological challenges and reproductive demands. In this video, we've embarked on a fascinating journey through the world of hermaphroditic animals, exploring their unique reproductive strategies and adaptive behaviors. From earthworms to clownfish, we've witnessed the diversity of species that embody both male and female traits, showcasing the remarkable versatility of nature's design. As we reflect on the beauty and complexity of hermaphroditism in animals, we're reminded of the endless wonders that surround us in the natural world. The ability of these organisms to navigate diverse environments and overcome reproductive challenges highlights the resilience and ingenuity of life on Earth. We invite you to delve deeper into the realm of animal biology and discover more about the incredible adaptations and behaviors that shape the lives of creatures big and small. By exploring the intricacies of animal biology, we gain a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of all living things and the delicate balance that sustains our planet. To stay connected and continue learning about the wonders of the animal kingdom, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more captivating videos. Engage with us by liking, commenting, and sharing your thoughts, and join us on our journey to uncover the secrets of nature's most fascinating creatures. Don't forget to explore other related content on our channel to expand your knowledge and appreciation of the natural world. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of hermaphroditism in animals. Together, let's continue to marvel at the beauty and complexity of life and strive to protect and preserve the diversity of species that enrich our planet.